And we're alive. Hi. Hey, hey, how are you doing? Uh, so this is the Embedded World 2021 happening right now. And um, so everything is digital, right? And you, are, you have a whole bunch of new launches. Exactly. So this year, unfortunately, due to the pandemic uh, situation, we could not meet face to face, which is a shame. Uh, but uh, we invested a lot of effort and time to uh, commit on our free targets we always have for Embedded World. And uh, right here is some uh, presentation. Uh, this is what you have in your uh, virtual exhibit, right? Exactly. So, uh, you know, like, like every year at Embedded World, uh, from ST side, uh, we do have three key targets. And, and one of them uh, is indeed to, to present some new products uh, and new solutions, uh, new technologies, uh, allowing our customers to, to design their applications uh, as, uh, as best they can. And there is no change on this uh, this year. In the same time, uh, we always uh, bring our experts on the stage to be able to discuss uh, with, uh, with our customers all their issues or ideas and support uh, their developments. Uh, so this is the same also this year. We do have, as you can see uh, on the page, uh, more than 100 ST experts, you know, which are really focused on different products and different solutions. Uh, and they are available online at any point to discuss with, with our customers. And the last thing is, uh, like uh, every year, we, we support our developers with a couple of thousands of free development boards. And this is the same this year, despite the pandemic situation. Uh, so, and then uh, maybe you can introduce, you have a, so there, there's some uh, like STM32 uh, new parts that you launched, right? And also maybe you, you can introduce a colleague who can talk about something. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we do have a couple of uh, major um, new products uh, coming um, along the embedded world or shortly before. So, so the, the main one is the STM32 U5, which is a brand new uh, line and platform uh, within the STM32 family. Uh, another uh, interesting one indeed is the STM32 WL. And uh, if you have Benjamin with us, uh, I'm sure he will say a few words about it uh, directly from his side. So hello, Benjamin. Hi, Charbox. Thank you very much for having ST today. So indeed, uh, I'm in charge of the STM32 WL. Uh, you can actually see it on the booth number three, three on the ST booth uh, during digital uh, embedded world show. Uh, of course, which is good with STM32WL is the fact that all the internal structure, I mean the CPUs, the peripherals, the memory, and the radio transceivers are all embedded on the same silicon die, which is a world first, uh, actually, in the world of LoRa enablement. And so I would say that uh, the key points that you need to have in mind when talking about STM32WL are the following one. First of all, you have a multi-modulation capability with LoRa modulation, but also GFSK, GMSK, BPSK that can be used to actually push on the device whatever protocol that you want, such as LoRa1 protocol, but also Sigfox, for example, or wireless MBUS or Zeta protocol. So uh, this is a second very important aspect of the product, the fact that the architecture is actually fully open. So it's always very flexible for users because they're able to implement whatever protocol that they, they have in mind. And of course, another uh, great uh, benefit of such product is the massive integration coming from the fact that it's a system and chip. Then obviously it's a, it's a ultra low power device and it, it actually comes with a dual core architecture. So ARM Cortex-M4 and ARM Cortex-M0 plus and such dual core architecture uh, brings advanced security features. And uh, last but not least, the range of, port, uh, I mean the portfolio and the range of packages that are covered is uh, very wide because we have VGA, QFN, RQFN. And last but not least, in the same way as what we do with all the other uh, products in our portfolio, such as the U5 that uh, uh, Roman just mentioned, there is a very strong ecosystem that comes with it. For example, with CubeMX for configuration, a Cube IDE for development, Cube Monitor to, to perform uh, RF advanced testing, for example, and last but not least, STM32 Cube Monitor to flash your device. So uh, I hope uh, you, you guys will be able to, to join ST booth uh, during Embedded World and, uh, and see STM32WL and actually all the other products that, um, that have been uh, presented by Roman.
So what's the kind of like a target market for this? Is uh, is it enabling millions of new kind of like IoT kind of devices? Yeah, exactly. We we really target low power wide area network here, and uh, and so in such framework, we we are actually. I mean, the STM thirty two WL is compatible with. Uh, uh, the low one market and all the vertical markets coming with this, for example, the utility market with uh, smart meters, but also asset tracking, smart industry, smart uh, logistics, I would say, or also smart home and smart uh, agriculture, for example. All right. Uh, so, uh, Roman, that's that's uh, that's that's kind of like a blockbuster kind of product, right? Uh, are you, are you, there's a lot of interest in, the, in these new parts. Well, yeah, I think the, the STM32WL, first of all, it's, it's really a unique part. So the combination of uh, the, the dual core architecture plus the integrated uh, RF front end enabling, like Benjamin said, uh, connectivity on different networks, LoRa, ZigFox, uh, and proprietary sub gigahertz, it's really unique. Uh, you won't find similar part on the market today. And the interest is huge. Uh, for information, we have launched a couple of uh, workshop series uh, in Europe, and they have been full within a couple of minutes. So the, the interest is there. Um, then a few words about the U5. Uh, so the U5 is really a brand new line, um, which has been launched uh, just before Embedded World uh, last week. Uh, and also this one, we, we strongly believe in, in it, uh, that it brings a new level of innovation for our customers in terms of combination, high performance, low power capabilities. And uh, you, you also have a colleague uh, who might be able to connect, or maybe potentially we could do videos uh, later um, about these different parts, right? Uh, uh, is it? Uh... Yes, I think let's let's try to to bring our colleagues later on to to talk about those in, in details uh, and uh, describe all the the specificities specificities and the nice things of those products. All right. Uh, I think it's uh, it's very exciting. Uh, it's uh, but it's a very strange and special. Uh, embedded world this year, right? And trying to get all the information out there through virtual means. Exactly. So, uh, you know, we you, you've seen already from, from the way we approach it. So all our ST stuff uh, has a kind of uh, branded uh, photos and, and we try to visualize ourselves uh, in front of customers. Uh, and as I said, um, if uh, anyone would like to get uh, an answer to any question on ST product, please use the opportunity this week. Uh, all our experts are there till uh, Friday. So connect to us, speak to us, ask your questions. We'll, we'll get you answers, I'm sure. And moreover, uh, we have a couple of thousand free development boards around STM32 available for all interested people. So don't, use this don't miss this opportunity. The U5 is a Cortex-M33, right? So it's using also the new uh, uh, hardware security uh, on, on and stuff like Indeed. that. Exactly, it's based on Cortex M33, so benefiting from the trust zone uh, support from uh, the core uh, point of view, allowing the, the isolation between secure and non-secure world. Uh, but moreover, uh, we do not rely only on the core itself. Uh, we add extra security elements on it uh, uh, to improve uh, the robustness for, uh, for the final application. All right, and uh, there's the boards already ready for, with all these new chips, or is it something that you announced that comes out later? Okay, so for the U5, uh, it's basically the, the sampling announcement that we have right now. So we are able to support, uh, let's say, interested customers. But the real mass market uh, launch will appear uh, during summertime. So this is when we will go uh, full speed with uh, all the boards, uh, the nuclear discovery kits uh, on the market. Um, and it's, it's also new optimized nanometer, uh, potentially, like as, uh, maybe it's low power uh, and, and long-term support. Well, in terms of um, uh, long-term support, this is uh, valid for the complete family, right? So uh, in terms of uh, longevity, we, we keep our commitment of uh, 10 years longevity program, which we do uh, prolong every year. Uh, so there is no change on this. Uh, the main breaking uh, thing on this U5 is the new technology that we use. So it's a 40 nanometer uh, ultra low power technology. All right. So thanks a lot. Thanks for this, uh, this uh, short uh uh, look into what you're doing here, the Embedded World 2021. And I hope we can do some uh, more uh, deeper videos a little bit later, hopefully, so we can uh, learn more about these products. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Um, thanks for your attention. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to connect later on to, to bring you some more news.